Hi Booktube, this is Johnny. I thought I'd make a video. I'm sitting in my main study. Uh, so yeah, I didn't make a video yesterday. I noticed on Booktube people were doing Friday reads. Well Friday, as I mentioned in my previous videos, my wife and I went to a book sale in South Haven, which is south of us. And um, yeah, we left here about 8 o'clock, got there about 8.30. And the doors opened at uh, 9 o'clock. And I always head right for the biography section. Found lots of biographies. I won't show those books in this video. This is basically just a book chat, a now reads, uh, because there's too many books to show and I'm not really in the mood to show them. But yeah, we went to the, uh, well, South Haven, they have the Blueberry Festival and then they have a book sale. And uh, at, a lo at a, their first congregational church. and. So I go to the, I always look for biographies, and then after I get biographies, I, I go to classics. And then I look for history. There was no really any history this time. Uh, not many classics. And then I go through all the fiction. And after I go through fiction, and then I go back through the biographies, looking for memoirs, letters. And then I look at Prime. Prime are the most expensive books. And after I fill my thing up, uh, I've showed you my thing. Let me see. This is my thing I fill up. Let's see, after I fill this thing up, and then I leave. Usually I'm we're there an hour. My wife bought some books and I filled that thing up and spent $43. I think I bought how many books did I buy? I have them listed in my August 2017 diary. Because I didn't want to write them out twice with with let me see. I bought one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. I bought twenty-four books. And uh I think Hardbacks were two dollars and paperbacks were a dollar, something like that. Prime books were three dollars. I did get one prime book. The one prime book I got for three dollars was a book titled I don't have it here, but it was titled cost me three dollars. Dreaming in French, The Paris Years of Jacqueline Bouvier, Kennedy, Susan Santang, and Angela Davis, a biography by Alice Kaplan. That was my $3 book. So yeah, so we went to the book sale. I bought books. My wife bought some books. And as we headed home, stopped along the lake, and I took pictures. There's a place called Pierce Cove. If you look at my Crooked Fingers live journal, you can see photos that I took at Pierce Cove by Lake Michigan. It was really pretty out. The sun and the clouds and the ray and the waves. Uh, so yeah, and then we came home. And what did I what did I read Friday? Well, I have I've been reading. Like I said, I'm still kind of out of it due to my birthday coming Monday and I still read all the time. I'm always, I've always, I'm always reading uh, no matter what. But I've been reading Kurt Vonnegut, Wamp, 
Wamp Peters, Foma, and Grand Falloons. These are like bits and pieces, addresses he gave, little articles, essays, interviews. I've just been reading that. Uh, as far as in the morning, I've been reading The Deep Things of God, How the Trinity Changes Everything. I read that today. I've been listening to, uh, to the Swans, Cop, Young God, and their other CD, Greed, Holy, Holy Money. And uh, I've been reading in the afternoons, I'm in the, reading the introduction to this, the new annotated Frankenstein, Mary Shelley edited it with a foreword and notes. By Leslie F. Leslie S. Klinger. So I've been reading that, reading the introduction. I haven't gotten to the text yet, but it's kind of interesting. So I've been reading that. And I started reading last night Conversation The History of the Declining Art by Stephen Miller. Our son Josiah sent me an early birthday gift, a book by Eric Hoffer, who was a longshoreman philosopher in San Francisco. This is Working and Thinking the Waterfront. Uh, Working and Thinking on the Waterfront, a journal from June 1958 to May 1959. My son sent that to me for a birthday gift. I had a book by Eric Hoffer in our library, The True Believer, Thoughts on the Nature of Mass Movements. I, you know, I got this years ago at some used book sale or a thrift store. And then I've been reading the poetry of C Cesar Vallejo. Uh, Vallejo? C Cesar Vallejo. Uh, translated by Clinton, Clayton Esselman from, I think he was Portuguese. So I've been reading those. So reading poetry, reading some Vonnegut, reading Eric Hoffer's diaries, listening to the swans, this is a book I, I got. I got this book out, "Conversation: A History of Declining and Declining Art," because on BookTube there's this tag going around called "Social Media Tag," and I I'm not really into. Well, my wife says I'm on the social media. I mean, I I have a Facebook account. Yeah. But I did that because of our children and my brothers and sisters. And I have some friends and some people from the past. And I do have four online diaries. But like I said, I, I as a Christian, I, I am to, in this world to evangelize. I'm in this Christian to give testimony to the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm here to be a witness. I'm here to point people to Christ and and to share the gospel, the good news of the saving work of Christ. So that's why I I have and plus I we are to communicate. I mean, we're, we're human beings, we have speech, we have words. We we are here to talk and uh, I do like talking, but I not on a superficial level. And I feel more comfortable talking about spiritual things because everything else is kind of just your opinion or what you think or what you feel. But is it really eternal truth? Does it really have any solid grounds in the nature of reality? Most of what we talk about is, a, is just a bunch of bullshit. Of no really importance. Just a, we're just spouting a bunch of hot air. And, but we go around thinking that we know it all, but in reality, we're just here living by faith. 
like you know like these questions in this social media book tag i just answered them and put it in my diary i, did, I wasn't really going to do the tag because like i said you'll see as i answer the questions um social media book tag questions twitter your favorite shortest book well that would be the dark night of the soul i have a copy right here This is the Dark Knight of the Soul. And then the next question is, let me see here. And Facebook, a book everybody pressured you into reading. I can't, my answer to the question was, I can't think of any book anyone is pressuring me to read. I, I don't follow literary trends. I don't follow what people read. I mean... I've been reading books, going to libraries and bookstores and thrift stores all my all my conscious life, and I just read what I find interesting. I don't feel pressured to read anything and, or to be cool or to be popular. Tumblr, a book you read before it was cool. I can't think of any book I tend to read books that are not cool. I mean, look at I mean, who, who's going to read? Who's going to read? Think, oh, this is a really cool book. Let's everybody read it. Reformation Commentary on Scripture, 1 Corinthians. Wow, this is a cool book. Everybody's just clamoring to read it. I seriously doubt it. I mean, how many people are, are going to go around, hey, this is a cool book to read. The Bible, Medieval Tradition, a book of, of Jeremiah, you know, quoting medieval commentators on the, the Old Testament book of Jeremiah. That's really cool. You know, I doubt it. I don't know. You know. Now, maybe some people might find this book cool, The New Anti-Frankenstein, but I don't know. So anyway, yeah, I mean, is this a cool book to read? The Dark Knight of Soul, a mystical treatise on the contemplative life? I mean, that's really cool. I don't know. I don't know. So anyway, yeah, then the next question is in the social media tag. MySpace, a book you don't remember whether you liked it or not. And my answer was, I can't remember if I read any book that I either liked or did not like. I mean, I, I, mean, I scratched my head. I mean, I can't, I, cu I couldn't think of anything. I mean, I just don't, I don't know. Instagram, a book that was so beautiful that you had to Instagram it. I don't have an Instagram account. A beautiful book? I mean, I don't know if I have any beautiful books. To me, if a book, if I can read a book, I don't care if it's, the covers are torn. I, I won't read a book if it's all marked up inside. But I don't know any beautiful book. Uh, I just don't know. So anyway, I don't have any beautiful books. What says uh, YouTube? A book you wish to be turned into a movie? Well, my my answer to that question is reality is a movie. I mean, we're in a movie right now, and reality is the movie. And your reality and my reality are probably two different movies. So. Goodreads, a book you recommend to everyone. Well, you know my answer. What book do I recommend to everyone? What book do I recommend? The Holy Bible. That's what I recommend. I mean, this book is the book that everybody should read. The Holy Bible. So, yeah. So, I don't know. So, that was the the social media tag which you know once again i flopped answering it or making it you know whatever so yeah so as far as my diary i'm on page 730 today is august the 12th 2017 it is 11 41 late morning here by lake michigan uh, I have books coming in the mail next week. And yeah, not much else to going on. I'm probably going to read this this afternoon, Compensation, 
a history of declining art. Yeah, it's like today we don't talk, we don't communicate, we email, we text, but we don't really sit down and have heart-to-heart -heart conversations, talk about spiritual things, talk about books. I mean, really in depth, not just shooting a bunch of hot air, but that's one reason why I wrote my diary. One reason why I stopped going to church is because nobody would talk to me. Nobody, there was no conversation. There was no heart-to-heart, mind-to-mind, soul-to-soul, eyeball-to-eyeball kind of conversation. It was just, you know, I see you on Sunday morning after church, see you Sunday night after church, and I never saw you once again. We never talked. We never had coffee. We never got to know. I was just going to church with strangers all the time. And they didn't want to get to know me, and maybe with me, I didn't want to get to know them. So we're all at fault. Just rugged American individualism, just... Like I used to tell people, we're just marching off to Zion all by ourselves, solitary pilgrims, marching up to Zion to gather with the saints throughout the eternal ages. You know, it's kind of weird because what makes heaven, heaven is not only the Lord Jesus Christ, but the communion of the saints, being with all the people of God who love God and who want to worship and adore Christ. And you would think that you would find those kinds of people if you're a Christian in this world and that you would gravitate towards one another and that you would seek each other out. But hey, it's I've been a Christian 47 years. Uh, this next week would be my spiritual birthday. I became a Christian around August the 15th, 16th, August the 16th, 17th, 1970 in the Richmond Hills, California. So yeah. So I will show the used books I got at the South Haven used books sale next video. I just want to make an update. Uh, until next time, I hope you're having a good weekend. And until next time, bye.